What's up guys, today we're at one of my favorite trackside spots. This is the legal wall that myself and uh, Love One acquired a little over a year and a half ago. I'm gonna show you some of the uh, walls that I got here. All right, so here's a piece I did a few months ago down at this spot. A little baby Wonder Woman. Today, we're gonna be focusing on covering my Wednesday Adams that I did last year, I think in October. A little Halloween-ish time, so. Okay, so for today's wall, we are using black as the background. This will help for easy cleanup later. You'll see as I do that later in this video. And if you look to the left here, that balloon E was done by Love One at Blaze 26. You can check his work out online. And here's today's sketch of a zombie. I made this on Procreate on my iPad. And if you look where I folded it, you can see, imagine little tiny dots. And we're gonna use those dots to make a grid in our head. So we're gonna transfer those dots onto the wall and we're not gonna do the grid lines. The reason we're not gonna do the grid lines is because that would be way too much line work when we do the character. Everything would get confusing and lost. But imagine these little dots forming the grid. It should help you transfer the character I'm not saying this is perfect, but it helps me. There's plenty of other methods. This is just one that I use. Okay, so once the pink is all mapped in, uh, you're gonna see me go back here with a lighter color, and it just kind of helps me define things, switch things up where, you know, you can see things maybe need to change. I recommend stepping back a lot to look at your picture. I also go back and clean up with the black, everything around it, just to make it look a little cleaner. I wish it was matte black, so I didn't have that gloss, but it is what it is. All right, so now we can start color. I'm starting with maroon for the hair to just base it. Um, just wanted to point out as far as the lining goes. I know it looks bad now. We're gonna clean it all up later I use super old cans that are most likely expired, but it got the job done. It's a fun wall This isn't a project I was hired to do so I'm not very concerned about it So here we're adding some highlights. We are just getting brighter and brighter with the colors going back and forth I'm using a level one thin cap from Montana to create this. It's just going back and forth, cutting with the mid-tones back into the light tones, so on and so forth. And here we could see the benefit to having based it in black so I can use the black to cut back around the hair and give it a sharper shape. And now it's time to base the character's face. So I'm going in with my mid-tone. And now I'm adding some highlights. And then we're gonna go in with our slightly darker tone to create some shadows. The light source for this is coming from the upper left. So we're gonna put shadows wherever they're needed. We're going to do darker shadows now. That is going to be our darkest color besides the outline color. Trying to add more contrast to it. This piece didn't have quite as much contrast as I would have hoped for some of my normal characters, but again, this was just for fun. Now we are ready to start the lining. For this portion, I am using again the level one cap from Montana. All I use typically is the level one cap, the stock cap that comes on the can, and the tiny pink stencil cap, which I will show you in a little bit.
So this is the tiny pink stencil cap. You can find it online. Uh, it just helps to get all those little details in there. Here we're just adding some cut marks to add details and make her look more like a zombie. And now some highlights to the eyes. And I gotta apologize because I did not do enough recording of the actual eyes once I put in the iris and pupil. You'll see it jumps a bit and skips in a second, so I will eventually do a tutorial on eyes. And here's my favorite part, the final little highlights. Alright guys, I think we're wrapped up for the day. Um, if you learned anything from the video, if you enjoyed seeing the artwork being created, please uh, like and subscribe. And if there's anything you want to see more of, less of, please leave it in the comments. Thanks guys.